Hello there, earlier today I made a video making Danish pork chop. I hope you enjoy it. It's made at my favorite part of Singapore. To cook Danish pork chop, these are the ingredients that you will need. You will need um, pork chop of course. These are frozen pork chops they bought from NTUC. You need plain flour, you need eggs, salt and pepper. Now let me begin the preparation. First, prepare the pork. Um, you should, you can tenderize the pork by eating at the chopping the meat for, uh, with the back of your knife. And once it's tenderized, we will put on the salt. and pepper. Let's uh, marinate both sides. Right, that's how you marinate. Keep it um, for a while. Could be overnight, but now we are, we are just going to cook it immediately. That's how we prepare the pork. I'm going to make the apple sauce. To make the apple sauce, you need bacon, shallots, garlic, rosemary, salt, olive oil, and of course, apple. Right, first of all, um, we need to we need to peel the apple. So let's peel the entire apple. The apples. Uh, peel. So now cut them into into large chunks, large chunks of uh, apple. Next, we will cut the shallots and the garlic. This is how we cut the shallots. We cut it. This way, they are meant to add fragrance to the apple sauce. Similarly, let's chop up the garlic. Right, big big pieces like that will do. Finally, let's prepare the bacon. We'll cut the bacon into into tiny. Pieces. I use a cheapest version of streaky bacon that you can just buy from NTUC. Originally, Danish pork is made from bacon. Today, we are going to use fresh pork. So the bacon. However, will still be used to create the flavor. Just cut it out this way. We are going to cook the apple sauce. The first thing to do is to is to fry the bacon, and uh, this process will. Get the lard to extract the lard into a kind of a liquid oil for a few seconds. Going to add some olive oil. And the chopped garlic and shallots. Also some rosemary herbs. You're fry it for a while. Finally, let's add the apple that we have cut. Chunk of apple.
and to improve the flavor one final step is to put in white wine this is a cast cast wine given to me by a good friend Chardonnay from St. Michael's food Let it cook for about 10 minutes. It should be ready by then. Cooking it for about 10 to 15 minutes. This is how it looks like. We shall now prepare our next item, which is the fried pork chop. First, crack two eggs. And you can just throw the shell. This is the beach. Throw it away. Beat up the egg. Take your pre-marinated pork chop. and uh, cover it with, with egg wash and then put it on top of the flour all right so this is how you prepare the pork chop fill your pan with cooking oil and when it's hot place your pork chop inside Fry it for about three minutes on each side. Right after frying for about three minutes per side, looks like that, nice and brown. So, dip it out of your pan. Okay, so we are ready. This is the apple sauce, the pork chop, and I prepared some washed lettuce. Let's prepare the plate. It's a pork chop. Spoon. And the apple sauce. Ta-da!